I have something to tell you. What? What's up, fam? Good morning. What's up, fam? We are officially done with our like real summer break. We still have time before school starts, but three of the kids, sorry, this is this is so rude. How rude of me to have that open. Three of the kids are on the competitive dance team this year. They are so excited for the season to start and the season starts today. So they have training twice a week and on top of that, they have like tumbling and all of their like classes are starting to start up. This is technically the summer session, but we had like a three week break where we had nothing. Are you stretching? And that, that's over, which means that we're, we're in the run in before school starts up here pretty soon. Today is their first day of their competition training. This is Kaisen and Kaden's first competition season ever. No, this is no. my second. Yes, no. what? When does school start? School starts in about a month. No. Less, less than a month, actually. Like three weeks. So we're getting ready. I need to do this one here and get them sent off to their first classes. But this is the mint kind of like gel. <laughs> twins first like real technique class like they took hip-hop um, which has technique in it too I'm sure that they're gonna do so 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 great but they're actually gonna be in Lilia's class they're so close together in age that Lily's at the top of the age range and they're in the bottom of the age range which means that they're actually gonna be in the same dance class each of them got put into two classes this year and the twins the twins are doing a duo just the two of them they're doing a hip-hop duo I am so excited to see it and then Lilia is doing a jazz number like she did last year but also Kaisen, Kaden, Lilia, and then two other people are also doing a musical theater number, so I can't wait. Being a dancer, you know, I'm excited. This is how you stretch on stairs. It's one way to do it. I'm just super excited for the season, but they've got a lot of work ahead of them, and they're excited, which makes me happy. Are you guys practicing out here? <laughs> class and waiting for them to get out. They're there for about three hours over the summer at a time. They have a lot of training over the summer because there's more time that you, you can focus on. You know, during the school year and stuff, it's hard because there's so much going on. But they are here for like three hours at a time. So I've been hanging out, waiting, got something to eat. It actually kind of works out because you guys know like the one-on-one -on -one time is super important to me with the kids, but it's also important for Chris as well. So Chris is at home with Tommy, Caden, Addie, and Landon, which I mean, it sounds like a lot of kids, but for us, it's so calm when there's four kids versus seven. Like it's it's a really really big difference. Chris is enjoying that kind of like one on one, one on four time with the other kids that are at home, and it's nice because these kids are utilizing their time in a different way that's like good for them. I just feel like it's good for everybody to kind of be split up. Sometimes they're literally together 24 seven right now, and they kind of drive each other crazy. So having them do some separate activities is definitely gonna work in our favor. So Chris is at home hanging out with them. I think he said he was gonna take them somewhere and do something fun. But these three should be getting out any minute now and I'm excited to see how it went. And if you guys remember last year, you're not really like supposed to show the dance. It's like a competition, you know? So I won't actually post the full competition dance until like after competition season is over, but I will show like their progress at the dance conventions and stuff. Do you wanna show me what they learned today? It's to Old Town Road, so copyrighted music, but just envision it in your heads. Minus one more thing. Doing something big today. It was a big day for for me. For well, I'll, I'll, I'll explain in a minute. I gotta run in because they're closing, and I'll explain when I get out. Bye. I just bought my child, children, an iPhone. 
kind of. So let me explain. Lilia is going on a really, really, really big Girl Scout trip to Disneyland for the next four days. She's gonna be six hours from me and parents are discouraged from going. That being said, I trust her group that she's with and I think that she is able to take this trip without me as all of the girls that are there are doing but i don't feel comfortable with her going without being able to contact me let me just clarify she would have a way to contact me because she has a chaperone there who she would have access to her phone to talk to me but it really got me thinking my kids are in as you guys know a lot of different things they have a lot of different activities they're getting older they have school things they have friends they go to friends houses they have play dates they have after school activities they have gymnastics dance soccer I'm not always able to be there a hundred percent of the time sometimes for some of the things I drop them off they take their class and then I'll come pick them up right now she has a little watch and she's able to call and contact only like, I forget the exact number, but it's like a, a specific amount of people. She's only allowed to call those people and she's only allowed to text those people. That watch really served its purpose. She used it quite a bit. Some of the disadvantages was that she was actually not able to type anything into it to text anybody. So you couldn't, you couldn't really text on it. You could only send like voice messages on it. Obviously, I mean, it, it's just, it's a watch, you know? So we decided that we are going to get all of our kids one iPhone. Let me screw you guys on here and then I'll explain a little bit more. This is my phone, my old phone. A little scratched up, dents here and there. Overall, it's in good condition. I've had this for the last two years and it is completely paid off. So, Chris and I decided that it was time for me to A, upgrade. I have a free upgrade right now and so I was considering upgrading anyway. But since this phone is paid off, we're going to take my old phone and we are going to replace the gizmo, like the little watch. Um, you actually have to pay for a line, so we already have like an open line. We're actually going to replace the gizmo with my old iPhone. I wanna be clear, I am not giving my kids an iPhone that they are allowed to play with freely or do whatever they want with it. I'm getting all of my kids, meaning any kid who needs it for whatever they need it for, one iPhone to be able to contact me, FaceTime me, whatever they need to do with it, it's gonna be theirs as needed. I hope this makes sense, but let me give you an example. Lilia, for the next four days, is gonna be completely away from her mom, her dad, any of her family. My nine-year-old being in Disneyland completely by herself, I wanna be able to FaceTime her and see where she's staying. I wanna be able to see what she's doing. I want her to be able to have free access to me without having to ask someone to talk to me, you know? Also, when she's, you know, doing all this stuff, I want her to be able to take pictures and come back and show me. So those are the reasons that I started the talk of even considering doing this. And then when I thought about it more, if I drop my kids off at some kind of event and it ends early, they're able to call me and have me pick them up. You know, I just, I just really decided that it was time. It was time for all all of the kids to share one phone and if needed as needed not every single day I'm gonna let them use it so I just walked into the Verizon store took my completely paid off phone transferred it to the line that we already had open and then got myself a finally upgraded over the last two years phone I feel like everybody in the world has upgraded their phone faster than I have but I typically don't like changing phones so it's like I would have been fine the thought of not having a home button Ooh, it's hard for me. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna break the news to Lilia. It's still gonna be at my discretion. I'm gonna put every single parental control on it that it, there is possible. But it's mainly gonna be used for like FaceTiming me when they're away from me. That's pretty much. I don't even think they're gonna call me. They're probably just gonna FaceTime me all the time. I have something to tell you. What? Or something to show you. What? Okay, so you know how you're going to Disneyland yeah. for the next four days? Yeah. So, this is my phone. Yeah. Right here. I got a different phone, and I'm giving this to you. Wait, what? <laughs> it's your phone. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? It's gonna be your phone. Here's the thing though, okay? It's not just going to be your phone. You and all of the kids are gonna share it depending on who needs it at the time. So like, you're gonna be gone for four days, so this is your phone for four days. <laughs> okay? Yeah? So there's rules. When you are in Disneyland and stuff, this is, it's a phone, it's a real phone. You're gonna have service, you're gonna have cell service. You can call me. The only reason I'm giving this to you is that so you can contact me and just update me. You can take pictures with it. You can take videos with it when you're there. 
You can FaceTime me, you can FaceTime your dad, you can let me know how everything's going there. But there's responsibilities that come with it. When you go to sleep at night, it needs to be charged. Okay? Don't lose it. So like you have to get used to holding on to it. I think I'm worried. I'm gonna try to find like a necklace so that you can wear it like in your in a lanyard while you're there so you don't lose it. If for some reason I can't find that, it's gonna need to go in your backpack. So you only take it out when you're using it. Okay. If I call you, you answer it. Okay. This is a big, it's a big step. You're nine. <laughs> you're nine. And I'm giving you this iPhone to use. Okay? Is that why you changed the background? Yes. Change my phone. So I'm gonna plug this in. It's not yours till the morning when you leave. And do you have any questions? Um, no, but <laughs> you're welcome. I'll keep it safe. <laughs> you better. Hey guys, we got to Disneyland today. your best. I'll hold your suitcase. Oh, give me kisses. I love you. I'm so excited for you and I'm gonna miss you so much. Okay, make all the good decisions, okay? Okay. All good decisions. Also, she scratched herself right here. She had mosquito bites from camping this weekend, if you're wondering what that is. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Give me kisses, Will. Really? Yes, really. Four days. Four days. <laughs> She's off. I'm okay. I'm all right. I didn't shed too many tears. I feel much better knowing that I can like text her. I already texted her um, when I was sitting outside of the bus and I was like, I miss you already. And she was like, mom. <laughs> but she's gonna have fun. She's gonna have fun. And she's with a great group of people. Their Girl Scout chaperones are like so sweet, so nice. They're actual like employees of Girl Scouts. We touched bases, sent her off. So I'll definitely update you guys in the coming days of how her trip goes. But also make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where you're going to find my more up-to-date updates. These videos, especially right now, are a little bit like behind because I've, I have so much content coming out right now. And because I don't post every day. But that's it for today's video, guys. Have a fantastic day and we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.